Let's go hunting. This pieces. We've got one more to go. A little comic a slash. It's actually called the Pop Shop, but Aiden loves it because they've got a ton of comics. It's been quite a while since we've been there. We are back from our hunt. This is going to be part two of our hunt from a whole bunch of stores. It was one of our largest hunts we've had in such a long time. And I know you were patient, so thank you for your patience in waiting for this video. So let's get into what we did. Lucky, and then we'll come back and check out their 10 inch and their grail section. I actually just ordered that. I think this one is so cool looking. I really, really like this. I actually, I think I want to get it, but not today, but. I think I want to get that. Hmm. Interesting. A couple more over here. Oh, a lot of loose. Wasatch Pop. Here we go. Let's see. Pinocchio, Trigon. Anything you see there, folks? An alien, imposter, America Chavez. Oh, Mookie's out. Professor X, Chase, hmm, oh there's Sprocket, Joan Jet. Red Rocker and Constance. I like that they redid it here. There's lots to look at, so I'm honestly not going to go through one by one because there is a ton here, but uh, I spotted something kind of cool. I might go back and grab it. Here's something you don't see in the wild too often. Almost a complete... That's kind of cool. Aiden's favorite game of all time. Uh, R.I.P. to Apollo Creed. Let's see, what's his price? I mean, it is a 45. It's just, okay, just regular. Nice. See, I like it because they've got a mix of new stuff and old stuff. Kind of mixed in there. But yeah, there's quite a bit. Alright, I was really excited for this. It even is the 2X because if you know these shirts, they go shrink so bad. This is the Funko exclusive. Comes with that golden one and that shirt pretty cool looking shirt but i gotta not say that price is way too steep for me for just that so i'm gonna pass on that after all but uh yeah that's the one that i was excited for at first but another one you don't see quite often is the wiener mobile and then frankie so there is quite a bit here today don't know what you're looking for. I know I'm probably going too fast, but uh, I've got this complete line, but as somebody was telling me they're really hard to find right now, so kind of neat. All right. And let's see, anything else? That gizmo car is still here. 45 as well. Still a little too much for me. Batman is cool. All right, just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I found the flocked He-Man. I sold mine by accident. I forgot I had it in a box and I sold it. Look at that, finding a chase in the wild. That's always fun. Uh, and then Aiden had found, let's see, he found Astronaut Snoopy and the Rocket with Groot from the Collector Corps. This was like right before we started getting them, I think. So yeah, pretty cool. And then of course he's checking out his comics. All right, you gotta help me. How do you say his name? 
How do you say his name? Is it Joey Fatone? Or is it Joey Fat One? <laughs> now that you've heard it as Fat One, you'll never unhear it as Joey Fat One. I had to find it in the wild today. I just sold my other bullseye because I've been looking for this flock to learn. It's right at PPG, but I don't know. He actually looks faded in this one. I've seen it where that red looks a lot brighter. So I don't know if this is the one I want to get. Hmm. Tempting, tempting, tempting. But uh, I've seen quite a bit here, but it's hard to kind of go through some of these, you know, the way they've got them stacked. So you're pulling out to see what's behind, which is good, but still, you know, a little hard to do. But like, it's kind of neat. I mean, I grew up watching Cheers. You know, there's just quite a bit. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. And then the worst part of here is unfortunately they get in so many pops, so they have to do this still. And what I mean by bad part of it is, look, they are deep. So we are, let's see here. One, two, three, three deep. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight wide. It's so hard to be able to go through all of those. That's what's so disappointing. There's so much more in here that I bet that I would want but I'm not gonna go searching right now through all of these, but I'll just kind of look at some. All right, so I was talking about this problem here, but you know, I found something kind of interesting. So, found some neat pops, something you don't see quite often. They're not a big PPG. So, I found a chase in the wild. So what, that's number two chase for the day. Not bad. How about a number three chase? Bad news is it's a $9 PPG. Oh, wait a minute. Do you need one or two of them? Two chases? Uh, yeah, but now I also found one more. Look at that, that chase. Now I have this chase, so I'm gonna let somebody else get it, but still, I don't think I've ever found five chases in the wild. All right, and they're grail. Look at that, another chase in the wild, but this is the one that I was looking at. They say damage, but I don't know. I still can't pull the trigger, but look who's here. Somebody, again, you don't really see in, in their chase. I was looking for it in, the, in their thing, but they pulled it out. They got a whole box of six. And then Kratos, yes. We get asked about Sandlot Pops on our page quite often. The original Gelatinous Cube. But, uh, yeah, the Clicker, Lydia Dietz and Treebeard and Fesnick. So pretty cool grail section today. Uh, Wiley's just amazing, so is Roadrunner. All right, so uh, yeah. Okay, we are back. I made him move the table just a little bit, but we went out. As you can see, we've got a Books A Million bag. There's also more in here. Uh, we did end up getting a few things, so I'm excited about that. Um, we took some time. The pop shop was actually our best bet. And then uh, Books A Million was pretty decent too. But uh, yeah, I've got Aiden with me again. He's here. We're just gonna complete this. Let's show off what we got. Cause I've already ran the, the beautiful bean footage of our, uh, of our hunt itself. So we're gonna start with your first one from top, from the pop shop. This is like a, this is a like pop from 2017. And it was a collector core exclusive. This is the Rocket and Groot. It has a little bit of fading on the back, but I didn't really mind because it's just one that I like. You don't really see any where it's like a character attached to another. Yeah. And I just really like there's this one, and then the other one in the collector core was the Groot with cassette tape, and I really like both of them because this is also my favorite Guardians movie. Yeah. So. So we're on the lookout for that one now. Uh, yeah, it is neat. I mean, we paid 20 bucks for it. I believe PPG was like 27 or 28. So saved a little bit on that. Um, the pop shop's fun. I mean, you saw in the video there, we love it. He loves looking at, I mean, he went through all their comments, every box, right? While well, I was I looking, while I was looking for all the pops. So I found a whole bunch of pops that I maybe should have got. And one guy beat me out on one. I had it 
set aside and he grabbed it. <laughs> oh well, whatever. It should I should have been holding it in my hand the whole time. But I did pick up Sam from the Funko line, a 2018 summer convention. Uh, I'm a big Sam is one of their you know spastic plastic. And uh, I'm a big uh, meat eater, <laughs> you know. Uh, I like to smoke pork and things like that. And I just thought this was fun because that's what we're doing. We're collecting for us. And so I wanted to get something fun. Uh, you saw there in the video, I, I found a lot of these spastic plastics. A couple of videos ago, I got that Diablo. So I feel like I'm going to work on that set. Maybe. I don't know. All right. And then you got one from... Books a million, and I did as well. And that is Reese. He just, yeah, he just woke up from a nap. But. Yes. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, the one that I got from Books a million, actually, hi, Reese. Get down. Get down. Oh, good, boy. good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. The one that I got from Books a million is a little bit old. It's a few months old. There's two different versions of it. This is the 332nd Trooper. Um, there's the Books A Million one and then the recent Target one. The reason that this one is different from that one, this one is actually from the Clone Wars, like you can see on the back. So it's got the art style difference, and the Target one is supposed to be based off of its appearance from Ahsoka. Oh, that's so, the difference. Okay. So the helmets are slightly different because they make the live action troopers a little bit thinner in terms hmm. of like their visor and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Did not know that. Plus, this was one of those that PPG was up a little higher. Um, so that was kind of cool. We were able to get that. They did have a few, if you saw that in there in the video. I thought about, you know, it's that whole, do I buy them to try to resell them or get them to other people? But I just, you know, I gotta, A, I gotta watch budget. Uh, and B, um, just, I, I don't want to be that flipper. I don't try to flip things, but if you're ever seeing something here that maybe we're buying in store and we do, drop a comment and DM us on Instagram, you know, because um, there's no DMing here on YouTube, but DSMO, DM us over on there because we do find things that maybe aren't available uh, elsewhere. Um, so, Books a Million was really cool to us. We got that. Uh, it was you know, it's February, so it's beginning of the year, so I had to renew my Books A Million card, and it's $25 for the year. You get $5 off per month, and so it pays for itself. You also get 10% off coupons, and then they were doing a promotion that I got a $10 in-hand coupon right then and there to use on another purchase. So, I walked back and got another pop I was looking for and wanted to get, and that is my Maid Marian. And I literally paid $1.32 for her after taxes uh, and the discounts. So I'm happy to get that, to add that to my collection. So it was a really, really good hunt for us. The best part is we get to spend time together. Um, gosh, we were gone for like six hours. It was a long day. We only planned to be out for like a little bit, but then... <laughs> It was pretty late once we got home. Yeah, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you watched part one. I knew it was more just the hunting. Here's the reveal of what we got. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that you're having a great day. Stick around or watch the next few videos. We're going to be doing some more unboxings and coming at you with more. Uh, I've got another hunt video sh popping up here soon too. Have a great one. Take care.